Hello everyone, welcome to Ansar Kari and in this video we will be continuing with the UPSC questions related to the topic number system. So the first question for today says, 4 digit numbers are to be formed using the digits 1, 2, 3 and 4 and none of these 4 digits are repeated in any manner which means that there are 4 digit numbers so we will draw 4 dashes here and they are to be formed using these digits that is 1 2, 3 and 4 and none of these 4 digits are repeated in any manner so no repetition is taking place further 2 and 3 are not to immediately follow each other which means that the number cannot have 2, 3 written in this form or in this form which means that there should be at least one digit between the digits 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 not to immediately follow each other which means that the patterns that we can form with 2 and 3 will be equal to 2, 3 then we can have 2, 3 in this manner then we can have 3, 2 then we can have 3, 2 and also another two ways can be 2, 3 and 3 and 2 so now we have that only these numbers are possible with respect to the conditions of 2 and 3. Then they say in which we all come on as we further read the uh, other instructions. So 1 is not to be immediately followed by 3. No 1 is not to be immediately followed by 3. Which means that 3 should not be after 1 in any case. There should be at least one digit between 1 and 3. So, which means that here 1 cannot be there. Right? So, 1 will be So, the number that will be left with is 4. Yani ki one nahi aa sakta. In this case also, 1 cannot come here. So, 1 number will be this. Then in this case, 1 nahi aa bhi aa sakta and 4 nahi aa bhi. So, we will read the further conditions. 4 is not to appear at the last place. Which means that here the number can be just 1 and 4. Right? We cannot interchange these. Then they say 1 is not to appear at the first place. Now here that first place we cannot write 1. So it will be just 4. And then again now 1 cannot come here. Since we know that uh, the number 3 should not follow 1. So it will be 4 here and 1 here. And in this case we will have. 1 and 4 and we can also have 4 and 1 right so there will be one more number which will be this so the total numbers that we'll have is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 okay so we did a mistake here since we did not read this condition 1 is not to appear at the first place so this particular number is not possible because they have said that 1 is not to appear at the first place so the total numbers that we'll receive will be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So these will be the 6 numbers that we'll form. So this is the kind of approach that we can take for the formation of numbers. So the answer for this question will be equal to 6. So how many different numbers that can be formed? The answer for this question will be equal to 6 numbers. In aid of charity, every student in a class contributes as many rupees as the number of students in that, in that class. So, for example, the number of students is equal to x. Then, in aid of charity, just in a passive order, contributes as many rupees. So, the rupee that uh, the, 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 the amount that one child will give will be equal to the number of students in that class. So, Okay, so the amount that they give will be equal to the number of students in that class. Which means that the total amount that we will receive will be equal to x into x. Ek bacha jitne paise de rahe and total bacha jitne Right? So it will be x square. Then with the additional contribution of rupees 2 by one student only. So yani ke x square is the amount that we have so if we add 2 to this particular amount hai, the total collection is equal to 443 then how many students are there in the class so we can ask how many students are there in the class for example x 
and it can also ask that what is the contribution what is the contribution made by one single sign uska bhi answer same hoga that will be equal to x so x square will be equal to 441 after we subtract 2 so x will be equal to square root of 441 which will be equal to 21 so the answer for this question will be equal to 21 which means that the number of students that are there in this class is equal to 21 now in a race a competitor has to collect six apples which are kept in a straight line on a track and a bucket is placed at the beginning of the track which is the starting point so the information that could adjust at the time make a race or yeah and a computer suppose the computer yahan par hai right beginning so basket use ki yahi par hi hogi right this can be the basket this can be the person so has to collect six apples so we can just draw here six apples quickly will be 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 So these are the six apples that we have are kept in a straight line on a track and the bucket is placed at the beginning of the track which is the starting point so this can be the starting point now they say that condition is that the competitor can pick only one apple at a time run back with it and drop it in the bucket yani ki agar usko first apple uthana hai to wo pehle yahan tak aayega then again he will go back then drop then again he will go to the second apple and then again he'll come back and drop the second apple and the series will continue then he will time pass if he can apple uta sakta hai right and that too obviously is have the first one so if he has to drop all the apples in the bucket how much total distance so distance pucha hai he has to run if the bucket is 5 meters from the first apple yani ki if the bucket is 5 meters from the first apple and all the other apples are placed 3 meters apart yani ki jo first apple hai wo to bucket se 5 meter ki doori par hai distance par hai but the rest of the apples are at the distance of 3 meters itself so this can be a question of arithmetic progression as well but simply if we try to calculate so for the sake of first apple so for the sake of first apple the distance that he will travel will be 10 meters फाइव पहले जाने का आप को पिक करने का देन आफ्टर कमिंग बैक एंड ड्रॉप इट सो इट विल बी टेन मीटर्स फॉर द सेकेंड एपल इट विल बिकम एट एंड देन एट इट विल बिकम सिक्सटीन फॉर द थर्ड एपल इट विल बिकम इलेवन प्लस इलेवन विच विल बी ट्वेंटी टू फॉर द फोर्थ एपल इट बिकम फोर्टीन प्लस फोर्टीन विच विल बीवल टू ट्वेंटी एट देन फॉर द सिक्स एपल इट विल बिकम सेवनटीन प्लस सेवनटीन विच विल बीवल टू थर्टी फोर So okay, so we miss the fourth. Okay, this was the fourth, then fifth, then sixth apple. So six will be twenty, so it will be forty, right? Twenty here, pure six. So okay, then twenty back. So it will be forty. So on. So we have calculated. Kar liya. Now sum, if we make, it will be twenty. So the answer here will be equal to one fifty. Now this is the direct method. The other method that we could have taken was of arithmetic progression, which involves that if we now see. 5 meter is not in the series right so what we can do is we can just write it somewhere is that we need to add later on this particular distance that is of 10 meters yani ki first apple ka baki we have to calculate the distance of these particular apples right so this will be equal to now in ap we have n upon 2 this is the formula in this sum will be equal to then 2a plus n minus 1 into d So, and so the total number of apples that we are now left with is equal to five, because we have the first apple. Because we have written here distance, the rest of the apples are left, right? So it will be five upon two, then two. Now a here will be equal to sixteen. A here will be equal to sixteen because a kya hai hamara a is the first term, right? First term kya ho jayegi? Hamari sixteen. Sixteen ho jayegi. Then it will be twenty two. So difference will be equal to plus six. Right then again difference plus six plus six. So D M I plus six will be plus N we all know is equal to five minus one. Then D will be equal to six. That is the difference. Now five upon two. This will be thirty two plus four into will be twenty four. Four into six. So it will be five upon two. Then it will be six and forty. Okay, fifty six. It will be fifty six. Then if we cancel it out, it will be twenty eight. Then 28 into 5 will be equal to 140. Then 140 plus we need to add the distance of the first apple as well, so it will be 10. So the answer for this question will be equal to 150 meters. Now this is another method 
this is a direct method if from which we can add but see here we just have six apples if there were like many apples like 30 or 40 then in that case this would have been a better option and uh, the quicker method which we are comfortable in we can opt for that method so the answer for this question will be equal to 150 meters So in this particular question, so in this particular question, how many numbers are there between 100 and 300, which either begin with or they end with 2, which means that we need to calculate all the numbers, which either they start with 2 or they end with 2. So from 100 till 199, if we calculate the numbers that end with 2, they will be equal to, so here it will be 1, so it will be 1, only one option will be here. Then for ending with 2, it will be equal to 1 and in between we will have 10 options. So it will be equal to 10. So there will be a total number of 10 numbers from 100 till 199 which end with 2. Of course, no number will start with 2 because we are checking for the numbers before 200. Then from 200 till 299, if we check, there will be a total 100 numbers obviously because they all start with 2 and the question says either begin with or end with 2 so since they are starting with 2 we need to count them so total numbers will be equal to 100 so after we add all these like from 100 till 199 so it should be 101 because it, it says between 100 and uh, 300 so it will be equal to so we we'll sum them up and the answer will be equal to 110 so the solution for this question is this and the answer will be equal to 110 for this question